A French President Emmanuel Macron and European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen will be in China tomorrow for meetings with leaders including President Xi Jinping. And they have a packed agenda, trade and Taiwan, the Ukraine war and the global fight against climate change. Ross Cullen gets us all set up for the high-level talks. Well, this will be Emmanuel Macron's first trip to China since 2019, but it will be Ursula von der Leyen's first official visit there. She set out the framework for what are likely to be robust talks with the EU leaders and their Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping. The European Commission president saying that China is pursuing a, quote, systemic change of the international order with Beijing at its center. One expert we spoke to said that Macron and von der Leyen's joint visit is an attempt by the EU to show that there is European unity as regards its China policy. China has been trying to divide the European Front and the European Union. So what I think is that they're going to try to present a united front to show that Europe is itself a great power and that as a great power it has its own foreign policy and its policy towards China. One issue that's likely to feature heavily in the discussions will be the war in Ukraine. President Xi traveled to Moscow last month for talks with President Putin, underlining what both sides describe as a friendship with no limits. Emmanuel Macron has previously argued that the Chinese leader should use his influence with the Kremlin to push Russia to halt its invasion of Ukraine. And the EU chief made the European Union position very clear, saying last week that, quote, how China interacts with Putin's war will be the defining factor of EU-China relations. Of course, you, what you can say is we do support the Chinese efforts uh, to have political negotiations, but you have to recognize that there has been an aggression. So this, this I think, will be in the, 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 the essence of the talks. The two leaders are likely to try to find some common ground with Beijing, with the EU chief signalling last month that some areas of possible alignment could be on dealing with climate change, protecting biodiversity, reducing plastic use and increasing renewable energy output, with Ms von der Leyen saying that China has been an active player in global environmental policy. Ross Cullen, CNA, Paris.